everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. I saw this tag video and I thought it'd be fun to do this video. And this tag video is called the Luxury Makeup Starter Kit Tag and it was created by Michelle Wong and Angela Van Rose. And I'm sure they've heard of them. They are very knowledgeable about luxury makeup. And I'll link their channels and those videos down below for you guys if you want to check them out and I highly recommend you do. But if you haven't, you don't know what you're missing, but Michelle Wong, like I said, she's very knowledgeable about luxury makeup. She also sells scarves and some jewelry on her website and I'll link that one down below for you guys too. And Angela Van Rose, she is based out of Europe. And again, she's very knowledgeable about luxury products and her skin, it looks like a porcelain doll. These are beautiful women, very smart, and I do hope, if you haven't heard of them, to check them out. So they started this tag, the Luxury Makeup Starter Kit tag, and I thought it would be fun to do. I mean, who doesn't love luxury makeup? These are 15 questions that are related to luxury beauty. So let's go ahead and start with question number one. Where should someone start when it comes to luxury beauty? And from my understanding is what products should you start with if you want to jump into luxury beauty? And the first thing that came to my mind was foundation. Luxury brand foundation that I have been trying have been, you know, just a little bit, maybe a lot better than some of these drugstore products. And that's just on me, my opinion, all of these answers to these questions are just my opinion, take it as you will. I just think the foundation is a good place to start with. It's a product that pretty much covers your whole face. It's what you see and that lays a good, you know, good base for the other products to put on. And the luxury brands, there are many types of foundation. You have foundation that has a matte finish, a glowy finish, light coverage, medium coverage, full coverage, some that are good for dry skin, some that are good for for oily skin. And another thing with these luxury brand foundations is a lot of them do carry skincare benefits. And that's, you know, a plus, especially in our mature age. We want that extra benefit. And the luxury foundations that I've been trying looks a lot like my skin. There are some that I just don't like on my skin, but there are a lot of them out there that just looks beautiful on. So yeah, for me, I would start with the foundation. Question two, is there anything they should stay away from? Now this one, Yes, I would stay away from eye pencils. If you've been following my channel, you know that I love this eye pencil from Essence. It was $3, it did go up in price of inflation, now it's $4, but this eye pencil just stays in the waterline. It doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't move into the inner corner of the eye, you know where it gives you that eye booger, and it's very creamy, it glides on the lids, very nice. Now the only thing with Essence is that they only have four shades. A black, a nude, a brown, and a kind of a, a gray color. So there's no navy blue, emerald green, bronzy brown. So it's the only drawback, but pretty much if you're looking for a black pencil, I would stay away from luxury brands and just stick with the drugstore brand Essence. $4. Can't beat it. Question three, if you could only purchase one category of luxury makeup for the rest of your life, what would it be? And that one's easy. Eyeshadows. Be it eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow singles, I would just continue to buy eyeshadows. And actually that's pretty much what, what I'm doing now. Because there are so many color stories, so many finishes, so many looks that you can do with it. So yeah, eyeshadow palettes would be the one product that I would buy for the rest of my life. Even though I'm trying to be on a low buy, it's, it's working so far, but we'll see how long that would last. But eyeshadow palettes, yeah, you can really change the look day by day with the different eyeshadow palettes. Question four. What is one luxury makeup brand you would recommend for someone starting out? And I would recommend Chanel because that's pretty much what I started out with. They have beautiful foundations and I am wearing the foundation from Chanel. It's the Sublimage foundation. Love it. This is in the shade B40. It does have skincare benefits and it just melts into my skin. It, it looks like my skin and it gives me just enough glow without making me look too oily with my combo oily skin. And of course the Chanel blushes. Who doesn't love Chanel blushes? But if you're looking for eyeshadows from Chanel, they do have have palettes that are very neutral, that are not way out there like some of these others like Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona. They're very delicate on the eyes and they do have great color stories. Some of the eyeshadow quads may not be as good as some of the others that they have, but they do have some to choose from, from Chanel. And their lipsticks, I mean, yeah, so that is one brand Chanel I would suggest to start out with. Question number five, what is the one luxury makeup brand you would tell someone to stay away from? Now this one may rustle a lot of feathers because of just my experience. For me, I would say, don't hate me, Dior. I know, I know, I know. Just the products that I've tried with Dior for me just didn't work out. The eyeshadow quints that I've tried just didn't show up on my skin. It was mostly glitter. And a lot of them do look very similar to each other. And their foundations is just not working out for my skin and my skin tone. Now their lipsticks are good. Their lipsticks are great. But 
I don't know. That that's that's gonna be a tough one. I know I'm gonna get some hate with it because I know a lot of people love Dior. A lot of people love Dior, but me, for me, not my favorite. Not my favorite. So that is one that I would not recommend. Not to say that it's a bad brand, but it just didn't work for me. So I can't really recommend something that I didn't like. Please don't leave any hateful comments, I know, because Dior is a, you know, very well-known luxury brand. A lot of the products just didn't work for me. Question six, what is one makeup brand you wish you tried sooner? And I would have to say Sisley. Just recently started trying their products and another beautiful brand, luxury brand. Their primer, the Devil Tensure, beautiful how it hugs the face and it just makes the foundation lay very nicely. I am trying their foundation, the Sislea foundation, love that. Their blushes, their blushes, another beautiful luxury brand blush. And the concealer, oh my god, let's talk about the Sisley concealer. It's just beautiful. I'm not wearing it right now, I'm wearing the Clay de Poet concealer, but the Sisley concealer, that is worth the price. Especially if you have wrinkles underneath your skin, of course this is all just my experience, but it lays very smooth underneath my eyes, it doesn't crease up, it doesn't cake up. So yeah, I wish I tried Sisley products sooner. They are expensive, Oh my gosh, they are expensive, a lot more expensive than Chanel. But to me, it's worth it. Question seven, would you recommend spending money on makeup or skincare? Hands down, skincare. We need to take care of our skin and spending money on skincare, and actually it doesn't even have to be luxury brand skincare, but spending money on skincare will help the makeup lay better on the skin. I started really getting into skincare and makeup. I've noticed that my skin is looking a lot better. I mean, it's not looking like a 20 or 30 year old for sure, but the texture of it is smoother, pores have shrunk, my skin looks hydrated. It looks healthy, at least that's what I like to think it does. And then when you apply the makeup, everything just kind of falls into place. And again, you don't have to spend money on luxury brand skincare. Would you say L'Occitane is luxury brand? Maybe mid-cost brand? That has made a difference in my skin. Whenever I wake up in the morning, my pores just look smooth, uh, smaller and my skin just looks smoother. There's a lot of K-Beauty skincare that works just as well for, I don't know, a third of the price or a fifth of the price even of some of these luxury brands. There are some luxury brands out there that has great skincare. Another one that I've been trying is the one by Sisley. The um, the Eye Night Serum. <laughs> but then I have the Ordinary, the Caffeine Solution that costs six, seven dollars that I love to put underneath my eyes. That gives me the moisture. Also the Rosehip Seed Oil from the, from the Ordinary, great for under the eyes. Mask being Sheep Mask, Mud Mask, Overnight Mask, those are great to help with the skin. And I can't stress this enough is consistency is the key. Because there's not one skincare that will just miraculously use it once and your skin will look good. Consistency is the key. So of course spending money on that I think is a lot more important than luxury makeup. And if you can and you want to spend money on luxury skincare, that's great too. Another one of my favorite luxury skincare is La Mer, and I think that's mostly because it reminds me of my mom. But there are a lot of other skincare products out there that are not luxury brand that works just as well. And yes, I would spend my money on skincare more than luxury makeup. Question eight, why do you personally love luxury makeup? And I think for me, I just like how it performs on my skin. Foundations look better on me. Eyeshadows, does it melt away? The pigment is there. The concealer helps conceal seal underneath my eyes. Lipsticks, yeah. So for me personally, I just think luxury makeup performs a lot better on me than some of the drugstore brands. And plus we just like walking up to the Chanel counter, the Chantecai counter, and just you know, look around and see and make some purchases. And there is a little bit of prestige when you go to the luxury counter and say, you know, I want to buy a blush, I want a foundation. So there is a little bit of that with the luxury products. But for me personally, I just think that they perform a lot better than some of these drugstore products. Uh, drugstore products. Question nine, should luxury makeup brushes be invested in? Another one hands down, yes. These tools will help apply the makeup a lot better. Especially the ones from Sonia G, a lot of the Fude brushes, the Japanese Japanese brushes like Chikahodo, and I know I'm going to say this brand wrong, Koyudo. I always mispronounce that. Love their foundation brush and their powder brushes too. And the bristles from these brushes are made from, say, squirrel hair, goat hair, and even their synthetic bristles are a lot better than, you know, some of these drugstore makeup brushes. I remember the first time I started using the Sonia G eyeshadow brushes and I was like, wow, it applies the, the shadow very beautifully. Foundation brushes doesn't leave any streaks when I apply the foundation. Bronzing brush, the blush brush from Sonia G, beautiful. It does make a difference with these luxury brushes, how they apply the makeup. And I would recommend getting eyeshadow brushes first because it really does make a world of difference. And then work your way up with a foundation brush or a blush brush or even a face 
set. But yeah, I really do think luxury brushes needs to be invested in. Questions 10 and 11, they talk about perfumes. And unfortunately, I'm not a perfume wearer kind of gal. So I really can't answer these questions. So question 10 is should luxury perfumes be invested in? And question 11, designer or niche perfumes. I cannot answer those questions because I don't wear perfumes. I know a lot of people wear perfume, but for me, it just... It can be a little bit too overpowering, gives me headaches, and it's just not my favorite thing to do. So I'm sorry I can't answer these two questions for you. But hopefully I can answer the next one. Question 12, where is the best place to shop when getting started? For me, it would be Nordstrom. They've got many luxury brand counters to choose from. And when you find the one that you would like, make a relationship with the sales associate. And that person can help you tremendously. And not only will they help with the knowledge, they can also give you free samples. If you wanted to try this foundation from, say, La Mer, they can give you a sample from that. If you want to try mascaras from Chanel, they'll give you some samples there or skincare from other products. So yeah, I would start at Nordstrom here in the States. Another place I would say is some of these boutiques like Chanel. Another one set a relationship relationship with some of the sell associates and they can help you tremendously with new releases, free samples. That's that's one of the things I love about it, getting a lot of free samples, especially with the skincare. That's how I found out about the Sisley uh, Night Serum. I can't remember the name of it because it's it's something new and, and I really do like that one. <laughs> But that's how I found out about it is getting samples. I'm jumping back to this question because I forgot to mention another place to start with is suffrages. Some of these luxury brands are a little bit cheaper at suffrages than they are here in the States. Say for instance, the Sisley Concealer. Here in the States, it's $118. At suffrages, it's $88 there. They do have this membership where you can spend $55 and you can get free shipping of unlimited packages for the whole year. So that is really worth it considering the price difference with some of these products, especially with Sisley products. So yeah, I would recommend Nordstrom and some of these boutiques because you can establish a relationship with the sales associates and then kind of check suffrages for the prices because that may be worth it too to save some money. Question 13, if you only have $200, what would you buy? And that one's a tough one because I kept going back and forth with it. But the one thing that I would recommend buying is a foundation. Now, of course, the Chanel Sublimage foundation, that one cost $150 and that would pretty much wipe out the rest of your budget. But the one that I think would be really nice is this one by Guerlain, the L'Essentiel foundation, be it the Natural Glow foundation, which is a little bit glowy, or the High Perfection foundation, which is more of a matte finish. So here's the matte finish and here's the glow finish. And the these cost $60 here in the States, and I forgot to mention this in the previous question about where to get started. I would also check suffrages, and I'll probably go back and add that to that question. But suffrages is out of the UK, and they do carry some of these luxury products that are cheaper. Like for one here in the States, this is $60, over there at suffrages is $52, and they sometimes have sales. So hopefully I'll mention that back into the previous question, but I would start with that foundation. And next I would suggest the concealer from Cicely Paris. Here in the States, it's $118 but at suffrages it's $88 here and here is this concealer this is what it looks like beautiful concealer wow the next best concealer is the one that I'm wearing right now it's by Clay de Peau, and it's the stick concealer and here's what that one looks like and it's a stick and you just use your finger and rub it underneath your eyes not rub it but pat it underneath your eyes unfortunately suffrages does not carry Clay de Peau, so this concealer costs $75 this is the old formula they did come out with a new formula haven't tried that one yet and I don't know if I will because I'm Again, I'm trying to be on a low buy, but we'll see. So if you opted to get these products from Suffrages, the foundation by Guerlain and the concealer by Sisley, that would be $140 and you have $60 left to play with. Then I would recommend a lipstick from Chanel. And there's nothing wrong with Chanel lipstick. And I'm wearing this one right now. It's from the La Comet collection. It's a new one. This is the shade one, oh gosh. This one's 158, Braun Soulaire. And it's a beautiful red color with a little bit of a brown to it. This one costs $42. So that means we have, what, $18? left. So the last product that I would recommend, I think we're going to go over budget, but try to get things on sale, is a single shadow from Chantecaille. Love their luminescent eyeshades. And I have one here, one of my favorite shades is the Rhinoceros beautiful one shade and done. So you pretty much cover everything. Foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, and lipstick. Gone a little bit over, but always try to find sales. And this is if you get it from Suffragist. Or if you want to switch out the Sisley concealer for the Clay de Peau, that wouldn't hurt either. And I think they would probably be the same because this one costs $75, whereas the Sisley from Suffragist cost $88. So you're going over a budget a little bit, but not that much, but you're getting great high-end products that work beautifully on the skin. 
scan. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I know that was confusing for me because you should see what my paper looks like. It's pretty, a lot of scribbling going on there. So recap, foundation by Guerlain, concealer by Sisley or Clay de Poe, Chanel lipstick, and a single eyeshadow from Chantecaille. That's what I would recommend. Question number 14, what was your first luxury makeup purchase and did you regret it? And my first luxury makeup was from Chanel and it's the Chanel blush. And I have it here. I wish this is what I was wearing, but I didn't think about putting this one on. But it's this one, 260 Alizane. Love this blush. And as you can see, I do not regret this purchase at all. Something about the Chanel blushes just, I don't know, it just looks beautiful on. Now they did reformulate it. There is a little bit of a difference there, but the original formula Chanel blush, do not regret this one at all. They did come out with two new blushes. Those are beautiful blushes too. So yeah, my first luxury makeup purchase was Chanel and it's the Chanel blush. And no, I do not regret it at all. Question 15, the last question. What is your biggest luxury makeup regret? And I was thinking about it and then it hit me. Paying full price for a lot of these luxury makeup. Because nowadays there are sales going on. Chantecaille has their yearly 30% off sale. Clay de Po would have their 20% off. Sisley would have 20% off. Even from Suffrages, they would have sales with beauty products, luxury beauty products too. So even like the Sisley concealer, even though it's $88 their base price there, sometimes they'll have a sale there too. So that brings it down more. Now I haven't seen any sales with Chanel. Usually I would look for a nice gift with purchase from Nordstrom. I'm looking for something and they're doing their beauty event where they have a great gift with purchase with like 14 items in the little cute little makeup bag or something. Then I will get it and I've always said to try to find things on sale or whenever they have a great gift with purchase. And I just thought of another one, I believe Saks, I believe Saks as their gift card event where you spend $250 and you get $50 back. So that's another place to get luxury product with sales. And if Saks carries Chanel and I guess Chanel would be on sale like that but anywho my biggest regret was buying full price on these luxury products in the beginning now I look for sales all right we are done with this tag and I hope I did it justice I hope it was fun for you guys and maybe a little bit helpful I know it wasn't helpful with the perfumes but at least with the other questions I hope that was helpful it was fun for me to answer these I know the $200 budget kind of got a little out of hand <laughs> But I hope it was enjoyable and helpful for you guys. Thank you, Michelle and Angela, for doing this tag, because this was really fun. And again, I'll list their channels down below, and I hope you check them out, which I'm pretty sure you already know who they are. Well, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked this video and enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.